I'm DM Allen, and you're listening to Roll with the Vantage. <laughs> Last time on Roll with the Vantage. Uh, you guys are docked uh, in this very busy city. You're no barbarian. My path has failed me. Don't talk to Kenyon about dragons. Now. <laughs> That was a fight! Oh, what else do we have in store for our fighters tonight? (laughs) Place your bets now, people! Place your bets now! What, What kind of preparations would you like to make? As he's announcing this, he, like, takes his fingers off his throat and he looks back at you and he says, Here's the rules. Nobody outside the ring can help you. And, uh, if they do... You all shall be slaughtered. Uh, Outside of that, try not to die. That's about it. You'll get paid at the end. It's very fun. I promise. Can we go in his group? If you like. Is it to the death? It's to the death. Of course it's to the death. The Viper doesn't do it any other way. Are you the Viper? (laughs) I am the Viper. How do you not know this? Are you Brickleworm's brother? Mmm. <laughs> Alliston, you mean? <laughs> yes, he's my older brother. He puts up air quotes. And uh, he says, uh, yes, I, I am. <sighs> he seems a little more stable than you. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your tongue, Gnome. But that's his weapon. I thought you said we could have weapons. What? That's not my weapon. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, as a as a group or as singles, shall it be half orc and maybe the gnome and the human? Um. What's? What do we get for fighting? Yeah. Well, it depends on what you fight. It is by popular demand. You won't know until you get in there. Kinian, would this make you feel better? It makes no difference. Okay. I figured I figured cool. we could at least go into... I mean, we'll, it's a team building exercise. We'll, we'll back there. you up and just let you work through what you need to work through, but we'll... Uh... We're the we're the little guys that stand behind the big dude getting yeah. all fight ready. We're like, yeah, yeah, you can't face this. I, yeah, he's gonna <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> the viper kicks in. He's. I believe those are called hype men. <laughs> oh yeah, you are those. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Uh, we'll we'll back you up. Well, one of you's got the bucket, and the other's got the like cut prep stuff. So. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you gotta cut me, Mick. Uh, uh, you're just like rubbing, you're your rubbing shoulders. his shoulders down. All right. Uh, what preparation uh, do you guys want to make before you go in there? I it's, guess mend. Okay. It's a dirt pit, a uh, packed dirt floor, and uh, there is a small set of stairs that lead down into this pit, and uh, on the other side is three uh, arches. It's like a McDonald's and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Ben. <laughs> What's your size scale? Oh, you know, McDonald's. It just, it just makes sense, guys. Just like, it's yeah. just a common size thing. So, is there any? Do I do I see any place in this pit that's like a sniper perch? No. No, not no. really. It's just kind of a. It is a big pit. Yeah, it's quite wide. Um, it is over. We will call it a forty a forty feet radius. Okay. So it's it's about That's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty big. So I put out a poll uh, on Twitter, um, and it is what would Kinian what will Kinian fight? Oh. <laughs> and the options on this poll, uh, there was sixty five votes, so pretty good turnout for us. Um, the options for this poll is uh, a Chimera, a Drider. A wyvern and a young white dragon. Uh, the Chimera won. So thank you so much to everybody who uh, voted. Um, and uh, uh, if you guys want to participate in things like that again, um, we will be running this uh, very often on our Patreon. 
patreon.com uh, slash roll with advantage um, we've got three tiers go check it out it's uh, great and it helps us out uh, you are all in the pit uh, and prepared to fight uh, the viper is up back on his like perch um, somehow he he seems to just appear there and it's it's uh, over top of the fighting pit and he's hanging by like one of the signs and he's got his two fingers up to his throat and he says uh, <laughs> you're not gonna want to miss this one what do you all want to see them fight and the crowd starts chanting chimera 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 Oh, but wouldn't it be fun for three? The gates, three gates lift, and um, these three chimeras uh, walk out. Each neck has a uh, band around it, like a collar, and uh, they all stride out. The, the chimeras, um, they, uh, they start, uh, like, nipping near each other, so they're all walking in step, but like uh the heads uh, are getting the, close yeah and and, like... and they're fighting against each other so like uh one of the dragon heads like nips at uh one of the ram heads of another chimera and uh and then like that ram head like knocks the uh the dragon head back um and they start to like they start to fan out kind of like how you see wolves hunt um uh and they start to like circle Kinian. Um, one of the chimeras uh, throw a fire breath uh, at Kinian. Um, that is a dexterity saving throw for you, Kinian. And I assume you guys, uh, 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 Bahan and Manette, you guys are standing back? Yeah, I like stepped onto the stairs and like just kind of sat down. And cast mend on my gun like that. That was my pre-battle rituals. Just kind of inconspicuously getting my gun ready to shoot things. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit back from Kinian, just enough to be like I'm obviously there, but mm -hmm. not in the front. Um, and then Kinian, how I imagine it is, you're near the center, unless you want to be anywhere else. No, I'm in the center. Okay. So uh, that's how you visualize it. Um, Kinian's in the center, and they've started to create this crescent shape around him. And the first, uh, the first Chimera uh, does a fire breath at Kinian. And what was your dex? Seventeen. Seventeen. Um, okay. You end up taking uh, thirty-two uh, points of damage, and then you have it because of because. I'm, of, I'm not raging. No, but you succeeded <clears throat> your dex save. Oh, um, the next, uh, the next Chimera um, does the same, and the one after that does the same. Uh, uh, the Viper, he uh, he's swinging from one of these signs, and he says, "It looks like it's getting hot in here, folks." More saves. I rolled a twenty on that that one, so. And I'm guessing I have to make another Dexa. Yes. Ooh, that was jacked. That's totally jacked. But it was a good, it was a good roll. Oh. It was like between the two, so no, not really. Eight, 16. There's 17 there, though. So, yeah. that's <laughs> three saves. Do chim chimeras all have their heads in the same order? Yes. Yes. And these ones do. Okay. They're triplets. <laughs> <laughs> so many mouths to feed. So many mouths to feed. <laughs> Super triplets, <laughs> my god! Which which one's the chimera? It's what's the, the what's it's got a dragon head, yep. a, a lion. lion head, and then a goat head. Yes, a ram's head. Yeah, yeah. So you succeeded all of them, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and so you take uh, let's see. Twelve plus sixteen is uh thirty. 28. Or twenty-eight. So you take half of twenty-eight. Uh, so uh, 14 and then you take another 18 plus 7 is 25 5 divided by 2 so uh, 12, 12. Um, and it is now Bond's turn I run up to the closest one uh huh kick it 
kick it. <laughs> That's um, 22 to hit. 22 hits. All right. For max damage. Nice. Of uh, 11. Okay. And then I use my real action to disengage. Okay. And I run away about 35 feet. Perfect. Very monk-like. I like it. <laughs> uh, all right. It is now Kinian's turn. I rage, and as I rage, my my hair rematerializes, but it inflames, and I charge the the chimera right in the center, okay. and I attempt to hit him with my regular great axe, recklessly, of course, with a power attack. I think 18 on the die will be good. Yes. For 32 damage. 32. And I hit him again. Okay. 17 on the die again. For 26 damage. Okay. So that they all within my my threatening space? No. If you approach one, you'd have to move to approach they fanned the next. Out? Okay. Yes. Well, I'm I'm on the center <clears throat> one. Yep. Uh, Manette. I'm gonna shoot the one in the center. Okay. Twenty-one to hit. And uh, uh, you hear like over the music that's going through this area, uh, you hear the viper, and he says, "What the fuck is that?" And then you hear. Yeah, because why would you bother with the um, silencer? <laughs> well, I mean, it's an intimidation factor yeah, right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you're not doing the silencer? Oh, hell no. Uh, so the the actual, the music like stops. Like you hear like the, like the stopping of instruments and, and the whole crowd that was cheering like goes dead silent. 33. Uh, to a previously damaged one or to, the one on the right? To the, the center. Oh, the center? The okay. one that I get okay. sneak attack on because Kenyon is right next to it. So this, uh, this thing is looking rough now. And uh, so, like you've you shot, uh, it takes off one of like the horns on the dragon, uh, and it like scrapes through its eye, um, and the dragon like rears back, goes, and uh, and the whole crowd, uh, n- from being silent, just in an uproar, just. Uh, I'm still just like sitting down yeah. at the top of the stairs and just kind of like. <laughs> reload yeah and um very nonchalant bets are just going hamburgers now like everybody's trying to get their bet in now um it is uh it is now the chimera's turn uh the the one that bon attacked uh just goes straight for him um it runs up at a gallop and uh drops its head and um and beans you right in the stomach, or it attempts to. Um, 19 Meets. plus 7. Exceeds. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, so you get hit with the horns um, of this, uh, of the goat head, and you take, uh, you take 12 bludgeoning damage, and then, uh, and then adds, after, like, it buries its horns into you, this this goat. Um, you uh, you see that uh, the lion head like snaps at you, the center head. It just goes and snaps at you, tries to take a bite at your neck. Um, and that's a 12 plus uh, 7. So that's going to be a 19. Meets. Okay. And you take uh, 8 plus 4. Uh, 12 points of piercing damage as it bites into your flesh. Ouch. Um, do, 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 that wasn't very nice. Of course. Um, and then um, as it's like got you by the neck, uh, it like wraps uh, one of its claws around your back and uh, scrapes along your back or attempts to. Uh, it is going to be a uh, 19 as well. No, no, no. 20. 20, a modified 20. Either way. Um, <clears throat> and that is uh, 13 points of slashing damage. Um, next is the center, uh, the center one, 
who uh, looks pretty bad and attacks Kinian at a vantage on all three attacks. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, 17 hits. Hits. Um, I'm not wearing my armor. Yep. Uh, 9 plus 7 is 16. Which I think is going to hit too, right? Is your AC y- up yep, to date? 16. Okay. And then uh, that one's going to hit as well. So um, it does the same thing, uh, just in a different order. Uh, it bites and then uh, headbutts you. And as it headbutts you, it, the lion swipes at you. Um, and so you take... So that's going to be 29 damage. So that was 14 damage. Yes. Yep, because you're raging. And the last one does the same. Uh, it runs in on you. Okay, one miss. And a hit. Um, okay, so two hits. The horns miss as the uh, lion uh, tries to take priority and bites and slashes at you with his claws. Uh, you take 10 plus uh, 14 so 24 points of damage, 12 after you're raging. Um, <clears throat> I take two staff attacks towards the three-headed weirdo. Oh, they're both going to miss, probably. Best best is 11. <laughs> miss. Yes. Right. And then I uh, spend a key point to use dodge. So you're still within five feet of it? Yep. Cool. Uh, Dodge so that they do disadvantage? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, It is Kinian's turn. I'm going to bury my axe into the the lion's mouth, and the the one that uh, Manette and I have been working on recklessly. 13? 13 is not going to make it. Again? Yep. 19. 19? Okay. So you um you like hit at it and the dragon head like brushes the uh the strike away and you swing again on it and um and you cleave right into the lion's neck. Uh how much damage do you do? Thirty. Thirty points of damage. Manette. I'm gonna try and get action economy on these guys here, so I'm gonna keep shooting the one that's we've been working on. Okay. I wanna help you out, but soon. Uh, that's 25 to hit. Yeah, that hits. 30. So, so what happens is, is, uh, it's, it's like trying to move around Kinian as it's, uh, attacking him and you're watching the heads and they're like striking, striking, striking. And you're actually, you're finding a timing to it and you wait and you wait you squeeze the trigger just so gently and your gun goes off and uh, the bullet pierces all three heads at once and it drops. Damn, um, son. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, uh, you hear, that's one down. Two more to go, folks. I reload. All right. Next is the Chimeras. Um, starting with Bon. Uh, Don't forget disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage. So that's why I rolled two. Okay. Wink. <laughs> uh, seven plus seven is fourteen, which is going to miss. Um, six plus seven is lower than fourteen, and three plus seven, all three miss. Very nice. Well, well done. Uh, nice job dodging. Moving as a blur. Their advantage on you, right? Or is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, the ball, the one that's left. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Remember, the three your AC is one higher than it would have been otherwise. Yeah. 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 Uh, so it that is, takes care of everything. Uh, <laughs> it is now uh, same deal. The bite attacks, and then the claw attacks. The horns do not. They miss. So thirteen and fifteen is uh, twenty-eight. Thank you, calculator. <laughs> uh, 28 points of, of damage. I take it actually in the single hits because it works more in my favor Does rather it? than summing because of the round oh. down. Because you have oh. each hit. Oh, really? It's okay. It works okay. out better. I got you. Okay. So, yeah. Six damage and what was the second hit? 
15. So seven. Yeah. All right. Uh, next is uh, Bon. Uh, same deal. Two staff attacks. <sighs> what happened to my good rolls? Uh, the best I've got is 15. 15. 15 hits. Let me get out dice. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't needed damage dice until now. <laughs> All right, so that's five. Six. That's terrible. Yeah, it's... Yep. There's a, there's a sink spot right in this. You got JHS, man. Steals all your numbers off Sorry, your guy. Sorry, I kicked it recently. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's, that's what it is. <laughs> Blitz! That's, uh, that's 11 total damage. 11 total? Yeah. That's, that's the same amount you put on it last time with sure. a single hit. Listen. Listen, it was still a single hit. Okay. I mean, it was, <laughs> you know, Consistency it was is the key. <laughs> three dice instead of one, but that's besides the point. <laughs> and I'm going to defend myself again with key. Okay. So, <clears throat> so patient. <laughs> Kinian. Reckless. Oh, and I also yell out to Kinian like, dude, hurry up. This thing's kind of... It was a little bit harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> 19 to hit for yeah. ugh, 22 damage. Okay. Not as cool as you thought you were. And yeah. again. <laughs> I know that. Uh, <laughs> that's going to hit. It's 17 for ugh, 21 damage. Okay. Uh, Minette? I shoot the Chimera that's attacking Pan. Ooh. Ooh, that's the first one in quite a while. Oh, the fuck off dice. <laughs> the fuck off dice. And okay. it almost rolled off the table. It you were did. almost saved. I was almost <laughs> saved by it, but uh, should have saved uh, it a little more. <laughs> somebody should. Yeah, there's too much friction. On Chamfer this. that so, edge a little. So what happens is, uh, you go and you pull the trigger, and it clicks, and it doesn't go off. Uh, your gun is jammed. You need to keep holding that gun down range for another 30 seconds. Yeah. It could be a hang fire. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the first fuck off die? Yeah, that's the first fuck off die. All right, nice. Uh, oh, okay. I got a new one. It is, it is now um, their turn. So, uh, disadvantage all on Bon. Uh, not going to make it. Uh, ooh, that's definitely going to hit. Uh <clears throat> 20 something and ooh, two 12s uh which is going to be 19 which is gonna hit so uh we got 1d12 so the horns oh shit you know what uh it is actually going to uh it's gonna hit you with the horns uh which was the first hit and that's going to take uh seven uh plus four which is 11? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. I got it right on the first try. All right. He got it right and then <laughs> thought he was wrong yes. instead of getting it wrong and thinking he was right. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and then I need you to make a deck save uh, as uh, it like <sighs> inhales and then exhales. Um, let's see here. And that is a 15 foot cone. You may need to make a deck save as well, uh, Minette. Lame. Lame. Uh, I make it. Yeah, because I got a, I rolled a 19, and I get a plus 7. I didn't. Oh, ouch. That was almost fuck off dice number 2. Uh, I rolled a 2. So is it is it shooting fire? Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, you it's know what they say. Fire. Yeah. You mess with the chimera, you get the the fire. Can, considering how this is my first evasion since I've had evasion. Okay. Can I do a cool evasion? Yeah, go for it. All right. So it shoots fire at me. Yeah. And right before the flames would hit me, I whip my staff around, create a gust of wind right in front of me, and the flames part to the side. Very nice. Not even touching me. He's like Moses of the flames. <laughs> I will. I will give you uh, uh, inspiration my free. as well. So take the acorn. Cool. Multi inspiration. Yeah, one. we're we're doing something new 
this time around so uh we're going to open it up a little more because of the amount of people at the table but seeing how we got four it doesn't matter but anyways <laughs> how much nice. damage did i take you took 27 points of damage so, <laughs> ellen's house ellen's house rules can change when ellen decides <laughs> damn skippy <laughs> It's season two, man. All the rules don't count. <laughs> so we went back in time and we killed Spock. <laughs> um, um, it's too soon. Six plus seven is um, not going to do it for Kinian. Um, and then, uh, so again, same deal. So you take a bite. This bites. This bites. Uh, six plus four is ten, and then you take a uh, breath attack as well. Thirty-three. Thirty-three halved is uh, fifteen plus one. Sixteen. Sixteen halved. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! It is eight. Eight. <laughs> Good job with the fire breath. <laughs> Two, two more staff strikes out at the guy. Uh, one of them is pretty good. 21. The other one's uh, 15. So both of them hit. Uh, 12 plus 5, 17. And uh, 15. Isn't that D8 your Colossus Slayer thing? Oops. Yes. Yes, it is. Once per turn. Once per turn. Same team. So, <laughs> so 17. Hey, you're not even here. <laughs> no, no, no. Turn on his mic. No, no, no. At this point, Keo's um, yeah. his like tentacle things are like Jerry curls. Yeah. He's been oiling yeah. so long. Some some guy in the in the crowd's like, ain't that the Colossus Slayer? That's, that's only one one around. <laughs> and the other people in the crowd are like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no. Do you want to be entertained? It's like this <laughs> it's like this really massive hit to his face with the, nice. with the staff, and it's like really damaging. And somebody's like, "You can't use Colossus Slayer twice, dude!" And it just like heals a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> How much was your second? Uh, eleven. Eleven. So twenty-eight total, I think. Okay, twenty-eight for the second hit, or twenty-eight total. Okay, eleven then. 11 and... Okay. I already totaled your other one. Okay. So. Uh, <clears throat> it is Kinian's turn. And I'm still doing the, the key thing. It's just trying to make sure, you know, remember your character, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So for your future. We're, we're totally a, a table of rules lawyers yeah. and one DM that can't count. Uh, we got uh, a power gentleman. attack. <laughs> That's going to hit. 23 damage. 23. Is he dead yet? Nope. Dead. Oh. No, he Again. just I, reached. I haven't, I haven't been shooting him. Yep. Oh, you would be, you know, the difference. Yep. <laughs> yes. 24 damage. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. It and, looks pretty rough. And I'm bored with this chimera, so I walk away from it over to Bond's chimera. <laughs> 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 this is after you've been attacking recklessly. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so it attacks you. Uh, double fives. Uh, it misses. It's so shocked. That it's so just, shocked. Yeah, that he's just walking away. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just write? It's it's a lame chimera. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not cool. So now I'm up next to Bond's chimera. Okay. All right. Um, the chimera uh, that you walk away from from just kind of seems frustrated about this. Does, does he look sad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's side chimera. Uh, Monette? I shoot the chimera that my friends are next to. Okay. That's a 20-something to hit. So. Uh, 20-something. You got 15 on the die, and that, that's enough to hit. Yeah, that hits, that's yeah. Not as good this time. Uh, 23 damage. Okay, bonds, right? All right. And um, I reload. He looks uh, rough. Cool. Uh, and you reload. Cool. Uh, Chimera's turn. Uh, one bite at Bond. Stop. What? 
as a sentinel. Ooh, shit, son. <laughs> I take a swing at him as nice. he s attacks Bon. Lop that head off. Cool, cool. Fuck yeah. And do you do it recklessly? I, no. I can't. Yeah. I so, thought once you're reckless, all of your attacks are reckless. No, it's... Rules Lawyer pointed out that I can only recklessly attack on my turn. Mm -hmm. oh, but I do hit. <laughs> I do hit. Yeah, the net gifts go the full round. but For 23 damage. 23 damage. All right. Fantastic. Well, Frank, it, you know. Uh, so he gets to continue his attack, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, so, so one attack hits. <laughs> uh, let's see. Six and seven is not going to do it. Um, and a four is not going to do it. So one bite on you, Bon, um, is uh, ten damage. And uh, and with Kinian's attack, the other two heads uh, are uh, unable to hit you. Uh, the other Chimera rushes up and attacks at you, Kinian, uh, now furious with you. Um, let's see, 14 Don't you walk away from plus me. 7 is going to hit you. Um, 12 plus 7 is going to hit you. And 16 plus 7 is definitely going to hit you. So all three hit. Uh, you take first parts of damage are... Uh, five plus four is nine. Uh, second damage. Four. Stay on the table. Yeah, you dumb guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, ten points of damage. And then... Eleven points of damage. Five. You did fourteen damage. Okay. Nice. Uh, next is Bon. How does the Kinian's almost out of temp hit points? Yeah, you almost, <laughs> you, almost, you almost took out my temp hit points. Oh shit, son! I'm about to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that means he's actually you've almost would have killed him. Yeah, true. In, in real life. Yep. In real no. life. In real imaginary <laughs> in, life. In real imaginary life. Uh, Alan. Wasn't. Yeah. How does the Chimera look? Uh, both of them Bloodied. look rough. I'm gonna. Do I get the temp hit point thing too? Am I working on the yes. imaginary world? Yeah, actually, yeah. would be too yeah. technically. All right, I'm not. So you're like, I'm not. I'm not almost dead. <laughs> if that's like, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I feel just fine. <laughs> <laughs> you you no longer feel way better than normal. <laughs> <laughs> you just feel. You just feel eh, eh. normal. <laughs> And that's what aging's like. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the dice. Oh, you'll find it later. You got a box of dice. Yeah, you got a whole case here. Yeah, but that's a special one. Yeah, it's my special clear dice that rolls fair and stuff. Does it? I mean, you've been rolling <laughs> pretty... <laughs> you got that JHS, man. I don't think clear is going to help. I say that I roll a one and a seven. Oh. <laughs> the, the seven is a 14. Is 14 hit? Yes, that meets... Yeah, so so which one was the one that you were picking up? The one or the seven? <laughs> the one? <laughs> <laughs> Not only did... It rolled me a one, but while I was picking it up, I got electrocuted a few times. You <laughs> <laughs> need headphones. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, so that's uh, 14 points of damage. Okay. And I continue to spin out of the way of things. I bet you can really feel the okay. electric guitar with those earbuds, right? Yeah. <laughs> Metal! Uh, it is Kinian's turn. I... I hit the one that's been beaten on Bon. Okay. Reckless powers. Woohoo. That'll hit. Better. 29 damage. Yum, it's dead. I roar, and my hair burns even brighter. At this point, it's standing straight up, because the top knot is not contained. Yeah. So, so... You've gone Super Saiyan. Power <laughs> level <laughs> has reached. It's 9, over 9,000! <laughs> I hit the one behind me. For 25. 25. 
25 damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's dead. And I hit it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> For 21. <laughs> For 21. All right. It's real, real dead. <laughs> Death can't save you. Come on back here, ghost. Uh, <laughs> uh, the the crowd uh the crowd is just going crazy right now uh you can't hear the music over it cast man down there. Down there. yeah um and uh uh you hear you hear this uh the viper swinging above you um uh shouting uh through whatever magical means he has um and he says he says <laughs> Well done, fighters. Well done. Congratulations on leaving with your heads. <laughs> I'll be taking one of these, too. Oh. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> oh. I do love it. Come see me after you've cleaned up. And uh, and he disappears from the... Uh, the sign and you hear the voice again from uh, just echoing around the area it says who's next who wants to fight who's next get ready i cut all three dragon heads off i take them drag them behind me okay okay you just got them by the tongue all three of them by the tongue and you're just like dragging them through the sands yeah okay i figure you know, if anybody wants to, if anybody you know, make wants to make a thing about it, yeah, you just killed three chimeras. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna see about, you know, relieving these dragon heads of their scales. Ooh, okay, okay. You can actually sell them if you like, um, uh, in this area, um, uh, bringing them up to one of these counters. Um, you can basically uh, try to hawk them. Would you like to keep the scales, or are you just looking for money? I want to keep the scales. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, in order to keep the scales, uh, the optimum amount of them, uh, you need to uh, pay, we'll say, uh, two gold pieces. Uh, at least that's what the, the guy tells you. Why must I pay? This is my kill. <laughs> but my services are not free. Do you want to get in the ring with me? No. Do you want me to take the scales off of these severed things? Yes. Three gold pieces. Two. Deal. I like how he talked him down to the original price. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> that way you feel better about paying it because you got a discount. I do feel better. I, I was almost thinking that you might go higher. <laughs> but I liked it. I liked it. Um, so this guy uh, skins skins dragon yeah. scales off things? Because... Uh, I still have those hunks of Imrith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my bad. They're they're not they're not uh they are yeah, they're big chunks, but uh yeah, he could he can skin them for you. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. No Did you want to see the quality of his skinning before like the quality <clears throat> that he does on on Shinian's work? Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um uh he he goes through and he does his normal uh, practices and um, Kenyon, you get these uh, you get these uh, strips back um, of uh, like scales and stuff like that and you feel as if this guy has no fucking idea what he's doing uh, uh, a lot of the scales uh, that came back uh uh, are either not from this these kills or um, are like chipped or cracked or broken uh, this guy did a really bad job a really really bad job those aren't even dragon scales I decapitate him oh, oh shit <laughs> Wait, okay. do you want to cast a zone of you, truth first 
You, no. you straight no. up kill this guy? I straight up kill this guy. Okay. Okay. Um, how do you want to kill him? I step forward to claim the strips, and I plunge the, the javelin of lightning into his heart. Decapitating his heart. I like it. And, do, like you, do you activate it, or do you yeah. just like javelin him? Okay, so so, so he's I, I like take back the decapitation because yeah. <laughs> it's way cooler just to explode him. Yeah, yeah. So so here's here's how it's it goes. A shocking so turn of he, events. He hands he hands uh, this uh, these strips to you, and he's like, "Now get out of here." And uh, and he turns and he starts like working on his stuff, and and you uh, walk up and you. Sp- grab him by the shoulder and turn him around and you plunge this uh this jagged spear through his heart and uh as take you're plunging <laughs> yeah as you're plunging you take your hand off and you activate the the spear and this uh bolt of lightning just rips through him and uh you see the lights of his eyes leave him as they enter the back of uh the wall behind him the uh the people around you are like holy shit what the fuck's going on i go back to the viper fang man the (laughs) viper yeah and say i need dragon scales send me your dragon (laughs) i might have one of those Ah, but why did you kill my intern Is this acquisitions of girlfriend? <laughs> it's, it's the other one. He was he was training. <laughs> he ruined those scales. I need dragon scales. Mm. All right, all right. Well, let me see. Um. It will take me a couple of days, but um, I can I can get you a dragon to fight. To do fight. Have, do, do you have anyone else on staff that can uh, strip dragon scales? Because mm. we've got a lot more that uh, that need it, but we we want better quality than that guy managed. Sure, I know some people in town that could be doing this. Um. Uh, yeah, um, let me let me give you a Not list of names, and uh, Not an intern. <laughs> leave off all the intern oh, names. Oh, of course, of course. Sub employee at the at the least. Yeah. <laughs> he says, uh, "Let Part me give help. you a list of names," and he starts jotting down uh, some on a piece of paper, and he hands them to you. Um, he says, uh, "You can find these guys um, at night uh, in the uh, in, in the, the Bell Market." Mm. The market. Gotcha. What's going on in the park? What? What? Mm. Uh, so, anyways, uh, here's <laughs> here is your uh, your rewards. Um, uh, somebody, give me a D100 roll, please. Ooh, D100. We shouldn't trust not, Ben. No, is. Ben, you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the scientifically. Per- perhaps the guy who killed two of the three. Yeah, you don't want to use my intern. roll. And the intern. We're going to have words about 24. that later. 24. 24? Okay. <clears throat> 44, if that's better. <laughs> <laughs> 44 is better than 24. Um, Not necessarily. Oh, you mean on the chart. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just so you know, I rolled a 97. Uh, so I rolled 100 <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> Stop being better. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. I want... Um, I want two d6, please. Gotcha. And then one d6. And one d6? Yes. My bad. (laughs) Snake eyes. Snake eyes? Okay, so... And a four. Uh... So sneak eyes. That's going the fuck off. So you got yeah, you got twenty. Uh, You're better than that normally. You got twenty gold pieces, and a four. Four, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. So I need uh four one hundred rolls. Uh, D one hundred rolls. Hey, look, there's four of us. Hey. Can I roll this time, please? Yeah. That's please. up to them. <laughs> that was, that was kind of my hint there. Like there's eighty nine. Uh, 
37. So, uh, okay. Who turned on that mic? So, uh, two healing it's potions. It's... <laughs> two healing potions and two spell scrolls, uh, first level. One of the scrolls is a charm person. A charming the, uh, person as a scroll? Yeah. What? Uh, and then the other scroll is a silent image. Um, uh, do you... Uh, do you share with Bon the uh, the fact that you found two letters, or do you f- share this? Oh yeah, with everybody? hey Bon. Oh hey, cool a letter. Have a letter. And I disappear back to the ship. Oh shit. Okay. Poof. So I leave you two. Okay. He says. Uh, he says. Uh, all right. Uh, um. Does he do that normally? Yeah, he's kind of rude. Mm. He's kind of rude. <laughs> Okay. Well, um, seeing how you are both are Zentarum, and he winks at you. I wink back. Uh, he says, uh, just a heads up. Uh, if you are interested in joining up or, you know, just staying in my good graces, um, I have some work for you. So, uh, the word is that, uh, that the Zenithar's Thieves Guild in Waterdeep has uh, has been making plays robbing our casinos and uh, you know they're, they're also uh, causing quite the havoc for us politically they've been sussing out our agents either killing them or exposing them uh, we kind of want to get to the bottom of this uh, seeing how I'm one of the few uh, dreadlords left. I need you guys to uh, look into this for me and uh, try to keep this turf war to uh, to a minimum. We don't need to lose people. Try to uh, try to keep this away from the docks too. We're kind of hiding stuff. Um, a lot of people don't know the sh- the uh, fishing trade has completely collapsed. So we've been kind of smuggling fish in from uh, from the Moonshay Islands. Why do you have to smuggle fish in? It's the illusion of the business still. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um. We. We need to make sure that the fish keep coming in. Otherwise, other things don't come into the city either. Oh. Yeah, you got it. it. There you are. (laughs) Uh, Where are the other dogs going? (laughs) Um, He says, uh, (laughs) he says, uh, why don't you meet with, uh, with my, uh, my subordinate. Uh, her name is Lilith Never Ember. Don't let her complexion scare you. And uh, <laughs> and he says, uh, "Viper's super creepy." Yeah, he says, <laughs> he says, uh, uh, "I'm." The word is that she's paying five thousand gold pieces to each person that helps. So, uh, eh. You can line your pockets with chump change. Some walking around money, if you will. Uh, what was her last name? Uh, Never Ember. Never Ember. You may recognize it. Nope. Really? Should I? Does yes. it ring a bell? <clears throat> it's been a long week. Who is she? What? Who is she? Well, you probably have never heard of Lilith herself, but the Never Embers. Well, one of the Never Embers was a open lord of Waterdeep, and before that, or after that, he, uh, he became, uh, uh, ruler of, uh, Neverwinter. So, uh, yeah, you should know them. Uh, anyways. Interesting. Yes. He lost his Thank job. <laughs> yeah. In Waterdeep. Yep. He sure did. To, uh, your friend, Lariel. Lariel. Yeah, Lariel. Silverhand. So this is like we're being hired for illicit activities. Well, um, I only in some places. I wouldn't say illicit. Um, 
All, all I'm saying is, I need you to defuse the situation. I don't care how. Well, uh, this conversation has grown awkward, so bye. And he, like, poofs away, and he ends up back up on the, uh, the uh, sign, and he's swinging again. He says, bring him out! And you see, uh, you see a Goliath, like, uh, storm down the steps, and, um... And he says, uh, so what shall we fight? Hey everyone, thank you so much for listening. Uh, I'm going to keep this really short. I really want to give a big shout out to Incompetech.com. Kevin has helped us out a ton. Uh, He hooked us up with the intro and uh, outro music and stuff like that. He also has a ton of music over at his website, Incompetech.com. It's absolutely fantastic. Go check them out. If you love the show and you've got something to say about it, comment. Please leave a comment. Go to YouTube or iTunes or wherever you're getting this podcast from and leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know what you liked about the episode. What was your favorite part? What is your favorite character? Things like that. You can even bring the conversation over to Twitter. Hit us up at DM's table and use the hashtag roll with advantage. We'll be there with a high five or fist bump and we'll uh, ask you your favorite color. Yeah, Uh, if you want to help out the show financially, keep the lights on and such, go check out our Patreon. That's patreon.com backslash roll with advantage. Go check that out. We have very reasonably tiered uh, subscriptions that gets you access to like the Tome of Epido and future one shot episodes with the cast and crew that are exclusive only to you guys, the patrons. Thanks for listening. Let's get back to the show now. Do you guys stick around? Or do you guys want to uh, head out? We'll leave. Are you heading towards Danavars? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So uh, you hand Bon his his letter. Yep. Correct. Uh, and the other letter, Bon, was addressed to uh, a lord source or a high sorcerer. Uh, and uh, your letter is sealed with a uh, emblem from Candle Keep. Oh. And uh, when you open it, it is um, it is from Master Katashi, and he is inviting you uh, to meet him at midnight in Kale Moorwalker Memorial Park. Uh, it's on the south side of of the river. Uh, you would have walked right by it uh, as you were making your way towards Bell Market. Is that the same park where Keo is getting initiated? No. <clears throat> Um, and Damn, we have to split up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out today, Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, flashback to Keo. So after oiling his scales, you know, they shine like jewels. And he goes through and he mends all this stuff, gets especially good looking, prestidigitizes it. You know, it's all pressed and clean. And um, he oils, he, he, um, he uses some scented herbs of sage and rosemary and thyme, so he smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and um, at this point, it's probably getting to be evening, and so he heads to the park and he wonders where everybody is, because it's uh, a big deal. Did I get an invite when I bamfed home? Wait, yeah, yeah. So there's an invite so on your present. bed. Here's what you see. So Keo is um, Keo is moving around completely nude. Uh, lathered up in these oils, his scales shimmering in the light, and he's got like this towel wrap on his head, and he's hmm, he's like humming along, like uh, pressing his clothes, like he moves his hand over the clothes, like he's ironing, but he's using magic to like uh, to uh, clean them and to flatten them. And so my floppy wizard hat, you know, it's like yeah, that's the brim the is it's hard. Erect. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. The, <laughs> the, the brim <laughs> is not floppy anymore. It's like out. It's just yeah. like a board, and then the it goes to a point, and it, so it looks like a witch's hat that yeah. some kid drew. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's what you see when you bamf in uh, uh, after you walk up on the on the top of the deck. I look, raise my eyebrow, and then start wiping some oil on my <laughs> on my on my chest. 
<laughs> just following suit. Well, I'm not wearing any armor, so yeah. I'm, gre- I'm greasing up too. I yeah. was waiting for this to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not. Well, now that he's himself, eight, though. it's no longer you know an age <laughs> issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, kobolds can change. Yeah. Like, you know. yeah, that's right. To fit the situation. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm fitting that situation. <laughs> I'm a small creature. <laughs> god. Oh god, uh, that's terrible. No, but seriously, I'm, yeah. I'm yeah, I oil right, up yeah. myself. Yep. That's you're what Kinian along. would do. You're you're humming along whatever uh, whatever kobold tune that you're uh, you absolutely love, and uh, and you're pressing your clothes, and you look over your shoulder, and he startles you as uh, Kinian's. Uh, sitting there like rubbing his pecs and like getting real oily and then like rubbing his arms and stuff Well, yeah because he doesn't have scale and and uh uh and i can't read so i don't know what this invitation says i just assume that um, where is the battle (laughs) yeah and and like do you you think we're oil wrestling (laughs) yeah uh, this happens like this this interesting uh interaction happens and when it does uh uh you hear uh a <clears throat> and you look over and it's two eye Mary again and she's like I didn't see anything and she turns and walks away again she's let me know when I can come back to the boat Keo thanks I think she needs glasses she keeps talking about how she can't see do you want Kinian to come along sure to, to I invited help? everybody yeah, okay. you know it's a okay. it's a big deal okay. um uh right that's Tim, Usually you Tim invite people to... Nicely lets you down because mm-hmm. Nymeria needs her help. That's okay. Yep. Um, I, I have a supper helper out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's helping as much as he can. Yeah. He's helping clean up. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. Um, and so Hootie's coming with me, though. Okay. You okay. Know, so, looking especially regal. Uh, uh, you and Kinian uh, head towards uh, the, the park nearby. And it is uh, just after dark, just like um, just like Brickle Worm asked. Uh, this whole time, you haven't seen him. Yeah. And uh, interesting. Uh, he starts you, swinging on things. <laughs> uh, you make your way into this park, and it's kind of thick vegetation. And you're just kind of following your way. You're noticing that kind of the the shrubs kind of start moving out yeah, of the way they're, they're here doing there. their thing they do yeah yeah and uh i've and, seen this before yeah Back and, when we and you're wagon. following the path and you you make it to this opening and there brickle worm is standing with his emerald enclave robes that he never wears and they're kind of like up almost like a hazing ritual right like like he's got uh he's got these like uh these uh drift globes that are uh hanging in the air around and he's got these uh these twigs and leaves uh in sigils on the ground and uh he says uh hey keo um uh can you can you just stand in the center please this is only gonna take a second and uh don't 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 move too much and uh uh, so you're standing there in the center and these uh, these leaves and twigs like all like come up in a whirlwind and that they're turning as he's doing this like this very particular ritual and it takes uh, it takes a little over two hours um, to complete and uh, when very uh, interesting stuff for Kinian yeah, oh, I, I fell asleep yeah, yeah he took a nap uh uh, when it is completed, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Brickleworm walks up to you and he says, uh, Welcome to the Emerald Enclave, Kyo. Uh, I want to let you know that we are going to do something special for you because of uh, how experienced you are. Um, you are starting off right away as a Summer Strider. And uh, I totally pretend to know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just pretend. <laughs> uh, and and he's uh, he's seeing through the ruse. He says, um, uh, "Summer Strider is a uh, a pretty 
it's the next step into the the Emerald Enclave, and uh, with it comes uh, some some responsibilities you uh, uh, you have, and you also can take on uh, certain responsibilities. You can learn inside of the uh, the uh, guild, and um, it's good because I have whole clans of people waiting to learn. Yeah, and you can take on people uh, to under your tutelage. Um, so, uh, uh, basically, uh, welcome, and, uh, I have something for you. Um, you saw this whole, uh, this whole ritual. I need you to have remembered all of it. I can try and teach it to you, um, and it may take a day or so, but I need you to try and persuade, uh, King Hikatan to join our uh, Emerald Enclave. Something that I've been thinking about is we don't have a lot of water uh, Enclave members and with the disappearance of the uh, Tritons, um, I'm concerned that those uh, unwatched waters are uh, growing very dangerous. Uh, so please bring him into the fold. Uh, you guys make it to Danavar's house. We are going back in time now. Uh, you guys make it to Danavar's house. Um, it's it's uh, a little afternoon now, and uh, you enter this bustling uh, building, and uh, there is people uh, all around taking food um, uh, and drink and dancing and stuff like that. It's already a party, and it's noon. Um, you see the proprietor behind the bar, and it is a half-orc um, with one eye, and he has this like, he has this like, uh, uh, water skin around his neck, and um, uh, and he's serving drinks. I don't think it's a water skin. You don't think? I don't think there's water no. in there. <laughs> um, you also notice this gnome. Uh, and this catches your eye. Uh, this female gnome, uh, she has this, um, she has this bag of holding and, uh, adamantine armor. And she is sitting there, uh, taking food and, uh, has a stack of papers in front of her. And, uh, uh from where you're standing, it kind of looks like the flyers. So we had this thing for Danavar. So I go up to the half work. Um, so you guys approach, and uh, 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 his name is uh, Drawl, and uh, and he looks at you and he says, uh, "Hey, friends, what uh, what can I do for you?" We have something to deliver to the owner of this establishment. Uh, Danavar. Uh, the Danavars haven't. Haven't owned this place for a while, and then it occurs to you that Tin Tin told you it's Drawl. Oh, yep, I got you. It's been a long week. Yep, yep, no <laughs> worries. Uh, he says, uh, "Is there anything I can do for you?" Yeah, I've got this thing. I think it's for you. He uh, he he looks at it uh, in his one good eye. This is from my friend Durathra, I'm guessing. Yeah, that sounds familiar. He he takes he takes this uh water skin and he uncorks it and he puts out uh two wooden goblets in front of you and uh and he pours uh this wine into it. And this is the finest Irvin wine that uh Silvery Moon has to offer. Take it as my thanks. I pick it up and walk away. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you pick both of them up? Bon, are you, are you still with me for this no. part? No. Oh, you're not? Oh, no. Okay. He only so pours one cup. Yeah, that's what so. I thought. Okay. okay. Cool. I grab it and uh, I go over and talk to the the lady gnome. Okay. So you like scoot up next to her with your, with your, uh, your drink. See, that would have been good with the two. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. There's two. <laughs> Neat. Yeah. Um, uh, so you scoot up there with, 
with two goblets of of wine these wooden goblets and uh she says uh oh um uh, i mm, i'm sorry i'm i'm not mm, i'm on the job i can't i i'm not interested i'm sorry so you're looking for adventurers? <sighs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, um, yes, 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 I am, I am. Uh, are, are you an adventurer? Yes. Ah, uh, I see. Um, would you count yourself as experienced? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, uh, let's see. I have some very, uh, very interesting things. So, um, let me in, let, let me let you in on something. Um, uh, so I'm from the Order of the Gauntlet, and um, uh, we've been noticing that uh, the giants were causing quite the havoc. And um, yeah, we took care of that. Oh, oh, oh! Interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, she she says, uh, "Well, uh, then you might have heard that uh, a." Uh, hill giant chief was killed around Yartar, and uh, well, things got very, very nice around Yartar. And uh, uh, that was the a really the fat gu- one, right? The really fat. One. I guess so. It's a hill giant. I didn't see her. Um, yeah, we took care of that. Oh, that was he. That was you. That was the order of the Obsidian Flame. Always be red. TM. <laughs> TM. <laughs> uh, not, wow. ac- not wow. accepting your and membership. Her eyes get like really wide. She's, like, she's ah. rethinking that drink now. Yeah, she? yeah she's. Um, she's okay, kind of okay. Slide so, the drink a so little closer here's, to her. Here's the. She she like looks at it and she like slides it away. Take no an answer, damn it. She shot. says. Um, she says. Well, uh, listen. Um, so uh, uh, here's the thing. The Order of the Gauntlet has uh, really uh, enjoyed. Uh, the safety that Yartar has been having, and um, uh, we are offering, uh, we are offering a bounty on some of the other giants that are causing mm, problems in the area. Um, so uh, I have a list of of giants, um, and. Uh, if you can kill some of them and confirm the kill with the Order of the Gauntlet, um, uh, we're we're going to pay uh, uh, somewhere of the order of uh, ten thousand gold pieces per head. That's good money. It's not bad money. That's right. Um, she says. Uh, uh, just flipping through her notes, she says, "There's there's a stone giant." Uh, uh, female that's out by oral bar um, uh, the frost giant male that keeps raiding uh, all the towns we have no clue where where they're coming from um, and then there's this fire giant uh, that's been digging up all these chunks of of metal in like odd places like in towns and stuff like that I don't know if you heard but Tribor was really terrorized by it yeah we um, were there for that oh that was <laughs> that, that was also that us was, oh Order of the Obsidian Flame. The Order of the Obsidian Flame gets around. Uh, wow, yeah, but wow. Sh- and you push wow. the wine forward again. <laughs> <laughs> she moves it towards her and then moves it to the side. Um, <laughs> she thinks she's full of crap. Yeah, um, she she says, um, "Well, um, uh, if if you're looking uh, to you know get get your uh, uh, your groups uh, your team." Um, I don't know, uh, your guild, whatever it is, uh, get your name out there more. Uh, uh, this, this hit list would be the way to do it. We'll see if we can fit you in our schedule. Oh, well, um, if you don't, uh, (laughs) others will and, uh, no big deal. So sure. Can I, uh, can I have a copy of the, the, the complete list of all those things? Absolutely. And she gives you a, uh, a list uh, with all the information they have. Um, yes. And uh, are there more people in uh, mortar, more order of the gauntlet people that we could uh, confirm the kills with in various towns? Yes. Presumably, yes. this is yep quite a, a, a long area. There yeah. is a guild hall in every uh, major town. Okay. Um. Yep. Cool. Yes. Thanks. No problem. Um, so what do you want to do? I grab the other wine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then leave. Okay. Um, 
Uh, do you do you just like walk off with with the wine and or do you like drink it or I mean what do you, what are you doing? With he wine? probably doesn't want me walking out with his goblets, does he? No, no. I slam them both down. Okay. And then walk out. So uh, so you slam the f- the first drink and you just like power through it and you're walking and you go to slam the other one and uh, you appear in a dark place. Um, the camera sees you disappear and the goblet drops and uh, the liquid spills across the ground and then disappears as well. Uh, you don't have a goblet in your hand. Uh, both goblets are gone. And uh, there is uh, flying cats everywhere. Bon. You go to my midnight meeting. Yes. You meet up um, with uh, with this guy who looks just like um, uh, your master or one of the masters from the uh, Candlekeep, uh, Katashi. Cool. Um, and he says, uh, Bon, it's, it's been a long time. Yep. Why, why so cold, Bon? The, the world isn't what I thought it would be when I left the, uh, monastery. I thought it'd be, uh, more heroism and people doing things for good and it seems that the world is a darker place than I imagined (laughs) it's about to get darker and uh uh you uh you see this image shift and disappear um and what you see in front of you is a uh a bipedal tiger with hands turned backwards and he is he is looking right at you and he says uh <laughs> ban 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 i have been hunting you for a very long time oh i uh, i say unfortunately for you i'm not an easy prey and i wing out Ah, uh, I see you now protected. <laughs> you shall die. Hey everyone, thank you so much for listening. If you want to find out more about the show, go to dmstable.com. DM's Table's got blogs, uh, information on our characters, and other cool nerdy stuff. Well, that's all for this week. See you out on the internet, everyone.